guys welcome back to my channel today I am going to be doing a makeup look using all products that I just bought um, a couple days ago so it's gonna be sort of like a haul video with like a first impression try on sort of thing if that makes any sense so I'm gonna be putting them to the test and seeing how I like them and yeah let's just get started the first thing we're using is this baby skin primer um, by Maybelline. It's the Instant Pore Eraser Primer. And I heard a lot about this. So, oh, it's very thick. Wow. I've heard quite a lot about this on like YouTube and stuff. And people seem to have liked it. So. so, from eBay, I actually picked up this brush set right over here. And it's actually a dupe for the Artiste brush set. So they look like this. Oh, one just fell down. Wonderful. It's wonderful. Anyways, I got them from eBay. And so, yeah, I'm going to try my best to try them. I'm going to try my best to use them today. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So these brushes are from a brand called Neverland Beauty and Health. Um, I'm going to also be using this foundation today, my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. It's the Matte and Poreless finish in the color 355 I used to use these foundations actually this is like going back to like grade like 11 I used to use these um, and I stopped using them for a while when I started getting into Mac but I decided to pick it up again because they're so affordable they're so they're so nice and blendable my color is actually 360 but they didn't have 360 it's always sold out so I got one shade lighter so I don't know if I'm supposed to pour on the brush. It's kind of weird. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this feels so weird. I don't know how I feel about these brushes because like I'm just not used to this like I'm not used to like rubbing my face you know like when I usually use my own brush I would buff it in and not like rub rub it in so as for the foundation it's actually not so bad um, despite the fact that it's a shade lighter than my skin tone, that's what I really like about these foundations is that they really blend in seamlessly into the skin. So honestly, even if you're a shade off, it'll still match at the end of the day because of how um, just blendable it is. So for my concealer, I'm going to be also using another Maybelline Fit Me foundation that I also picked up. This color I actually got for a client because I was doing a client that is um, mixed. And so I did get this shade in the color 330 for her. But um, I'm going to be using it as concealer since I did not pick up a concealer. Guys, I totally forgot I was supposed to apply that using these brushes and not my other brushes. But whatever, I'm going to blend it out with these brushes. This feels so weird. Like I feel like I'm supposed to wet these brushes to make them blend better. I don't know if they're supposed to be wet. Like a beauty blender. <laughs> I don't know. To set my face, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I did buy a lot of Maybelline products. Um, this is also in the color 355 Coconut. And it just looks like that. It's a nice matte finish powder. I'm going to be putting it on my face. And then to set my concealer, I'm going to be going into another Maybelline Fit Me powder that I purchased. Um, this one's in the color 330. And it looks just like that. I'm going to be using it to set my concealer. For my 
eyebrows. I'm going to be using this new eyebrow pencil that I got from the beauty supply store actually. And it is the Duo Brow Pencil from City Color. I've never used this before. Obviously, because I just bought all these stuff. So yeah, so let's see how it applies. To conceal my brows, I'm going to be using my Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creator in the color level 10. I already own one of these um, that I use for my contour, but I'm not going to use it today because I'm only using new products for this look. And I, fortunately, I did not buy any bronzing stuff, so I'm not going to be bronzing today. But um, yeah, this one I bought, it's just for concealer, and I'm going to try it on my eyebrows using these brushes. Let's see how that applies. For my eyelids, for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be going back into that same concealer I just used on my eyebrows and I'm going to be putting it all over my lid. And I'm also going to be setting my eyelids so that it doesn't crease back with this Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the color 330. Alright guys, so this eyeshadow palette I've been wanting to get my hands on for the longest time, like literally. Um, and every time I went to the store, I was I was like, no, I'm not gonna get it now because you know it's kind of pricey. It was like 15 bucks for like a drugstore palette. I was like, no, no, no. But you know, I ended up just buying like you know what, it ain't gonna go on sale anytime soon. So <laughs> yeah, so it's a really beautiful palette. And let's see how I like it. Next, I'm using this new eyeliner. This is the um, the Hard Candy Stroke of Gorgeous Eyeliner. This is also from Walmart. I believe it was like $5, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line my eyes. Guys, straight off the bat, this eyeliner is so pigmented and so rich and oh my goodness, y'all. Like, I'm loving this eyeliner. Like, it's so pretty. The eyeliner I used to use, the eyeliner I used to use was, um, I can't even remember who it was by, but like, it wasn't this, like, this pigmented and it wasn't this juicy. Like, this color is really juicy. Next for eyelashes, I'm using this mascara. I picked it up from Walmart as well. This is the Voluminous Million Lashes. And honestly, guys, the only reason I picked it up is because I just needed a new mascara. Um, to apply before I applied my falsies. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna be applying falsies in this video because I didn't get I didn't get any new falsies. But just want to try with my mascara and see how I like it. This mascara um, is definitely not for lengthening at all. Like it says in the title, it's a volumizing mascara anyway, so I didn't really expect that it would give me length. But definitely it does give my eyelashes more volume, making it look a little bit more thicker um, and definitely a lot more darker. For highlighter, I did pick up this Milani Baked Bronzer, um, but I'm going to use it as a highlighter because obviously for my skin tone, you can't use this color as a highlighter, as a bronzer, I should say. So I'm using it as a highlighter today. I'm going to be using one of these toothbrush face brushes again and using it to apply onto the high points of my cheek. This highlighter is a really, really, really good highlighter. I've heard a lot of good things about it. That's why I decided to pick it up. It's in the color Soleil, by the way. Um, I love it. Like, I just love the color of it. I think I'm going to be using it again the next time I do my makeup without this brush because this brush honestly made it up very hard to apply it. So, so yeah. So, as for my lips, I did pick up four um, of these Lime Crime Velvetine um, liquid lipsticks. I had another one, to be honest, it was a nude color and I do not know where it disappeared to. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Found it. So there are four. 
of these different colors. Um, for the sake of this little makeup tutorial, I'm only going to use one of them. So I think I'm going to go with the purple shade today. Something different, right? If you follow me on Snapchat, you already saw this on my lips. I did swatch it on my lips when I was going to work the other day. So you already got your chance to see this. But if you didn't follow me on Snapchat, why am I talking while putting on lipstick? If you didn't, if you don't have me on Snapchat, you'll see it now. <laughs> Last but not least, I picked up this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Setting Spray that I've heard a lot of good things about, so I had to pick it up for myself and spray my makeup down. I'm honestly about to just take all this off and wash my face, but um, yeah, this is pretty much all the products that I got in my little mini haul. Um, and aside, it's just do something different so I'm just showing you guys the products I wanted to put it on my face and just do products that I bought in the haul only on my face so yeah this is the look guys if you guys enjoyed this video if you thought it was interesting um please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed to my channel you know the drill subscribe down below and I'll catch you guys all in my next video Mwah.